Modesto, I'm Bob Brinkman. And I'm Veronica Shapley. Tonight's story, aliens. <laughs> That's right, Veronica. Call them what you will, aliens, extraterrestrials, or little green men. Do they walk among us? Some locals would say yes after seeing strange lights up in the sky. Yeah, we saw it land in those woods. It's gotta be from outer space. Oh, but I'm ready for them. See, tinfoil hat. <laughs> That'll stop them. <sighs> the worst date ever. So, what does the government have to say about this? We have with us again tonight, General W.R. Monger. Thank you, Bob. It's good to be on your fine program again. Some of you may remember the general from those reports of a giant woman spotted at a Modesto wedding. Allegedly spotted, Veronica. Those reports turned out to be entirely unsubstantiated. <laughs> now, seriously, General, what do you make of this? Are we being invaded by Martians? Martians? Of course not! So what do you think they saw out there? Well, in my professional opinion, I'd say it was a case of good old-fashioned swamp gas. Swamp gas? Ah, of course. Yes, Mr. President, that's right. Swamp gas. Huh? Works every time. Happy to help, sir. Best of boots. I love my job. Ooh-rah. All right, people, with this supposed alien hoo-ha nonsense put to bed, we can finally get back to some serious business. So, monsters, let's reveal. Once a brilliant scientist researching recumbent DNA and the longevity of certain insects, a tragic accident changed him into a genius, mad genius, Dr. Cockroach, Ph.D. Other unsung heroes of science also paid the price for unchecked innovation. This time in the snacking industry, when a dessert topping was crossed with a genetically modified tomato. It resulted in a gelatinous mass that consumed several city blocks before it could be contained. Benzoate Ostalazine Bicarbonate. Although, uh, we just call him Bob. General, General Monger, sir? I have a question. What is it, Detrop? Uh, actually, it's it's Detro, sir. The, the, the P is silent. Silent P, huh? That ain't nothing but suspicious, mister. I'll be watching you. Next, when explorers in the Arctic discovered and accidentally thawed half ape, half fish missing link, he immediately made for the beach, where he made a giant pest of himself and set back male-female relations some 10 million years. Now, Insectosaurus, the unfortunate result of the carelessness of Adam Age Man. This behemoth is the reason why radioactive waste and grub worms absolutely do not mix. Just ask Japan. And finally, our newest monster, Dine Norman, or as she still likes to be called, Susan. After being hit by a meteor on her wedding day, she was infused with an unknown extraterrestrial element, after which she grew to a ginormous size. 
You get it? Pretty good, don't you think? Ginormic. All right, everyone, honeymoon's over. Back to your posts. Now, Detroit, show me my monster. Hey, Ginormica, if you're not gonna eat your oatmeal, can I have it, huh? Bob, please, let the poor girl eat. What? If she wants it later, I can always throw it up again. What does she want to lose? That's not the point. Ginormica here is obviously still trying to adjust to her newfound monsterhood. We should be sensitive. What are you saying, Doc? That we're not sensitive? Uh... Wow, got a little gill in on that one. Besides, think there's anything sensitive about her? Check out those hands, are you kidding? They're like man hands, times a million. Ugh. Okay, that's it. First of all, my name is not Ginormica. It's Susan. And second of all, I do not have man hands. And third, I am not, not a monster. I'm a girl, petite and sweet. Got it? Don't look now, but Miss Petite and Sweet just put her spoon through 18 inches of super steel. <sighs> Oh, look, Susan, leave the spoon. We'll just get Monga to give you another one. I don't want another spoon. I want that. Susan, dear, please be reasonable. Where would we go? Hey, how about Monster Beach? Bob, please, there's no such place. Look, I've got to do this. Otherwise, I'll just wind up staying here and settling. And for what? Wait! My latest invention! <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake! They're just homemade communicators. I happen to whip up, you know, just in case. General Monger, it's a stage four breach! What are we going to do? Hold your fudge, Detrop. I didn't get these birds by turning tail every time some monster showed me his ugly maw. Release the Avenger. All ground teams, I want those monsters fast. Report in. What the? Oh no! What do I do? How should I know? I'm a scientist, not a roller derby enthusiast. That lot of help you are. Ginormica is entering Sector 7. Seal off all exits. Susan, the doors are closing. We have to get you out of there. No! There's the way out! Relax, Susan! You should be miles away from trouble now! Whoa! Hey! Uh-oh. Miles away, huh, Doc? Well, I could be a little off. Come on, Susan! You're both on wheels! Surely you can outskate this thing! Okay, then. Let's see how you roller boogie. Give up, monsters! There is no escape! has opened up another path. From here, we'll need to get you over to the other foot. That's the way inside. This should take you up to the body of the robot. Very excited. Hold on. Going up? All right, Bob. I've got you on my scope. I see you. Hey! It's Insectosaurus! <laughs> Yes, I see Insectosaurus. Are you kidding? How could you not? He's huge! Give 
Hypnoline is operational. Insectosaurus is fully mesmerized. What happened? It's the lights on the helicopter. They hypnotized Insectosaurus. Floor, kitchen appliances ready to wear, and robot control room. Uh, Doc, where's the control room? Hmm, you appear to only be in the robot's chest. You'll have to make your way over to the arm. Your elevator doesn't go all the way to the top. Sounds like a certain bug headed science guy. Yeah, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now, to make your way to the thing's head. Problem, Doc. Last I checked, the head bone was connected to the arm bone, right? Ah, uh, I'll take that as a yes. Out of here. Ha! Hit! Ah! Uh, no. Ow. Wow. I definitely did not need to go three rounds on this Bronco, let me tell you. Uh-oh. I waited so long, I forgot where I was going. That was close, Bob. Monga's men are everywhere. Keep an eye out. Access granted. Watch out! This way. I thought I heard something. This is Muldoon, sir. All clear. Access granted. All right, Bob. There it is. Now, to get through the bioscanner, all you need to do is borrow that cadet. Hey, what's this? Ah! What the? 
Access granted. Have a nice day. Okay, Bob, that's it. Now, out with him. <laughs> That was so great, I want to put that into my book of really great things. Just as soon as I learn how to read. Mayday, mayday, Big Orange has left the building. What? I don't understand what you're saying. Shut up and glide. We're in a whole lot of trouble. Sorry! Ejecting! Monster, monster, monster. Come out, come out wherever you are. Hey, how are you? Ah! Hmm. Good thing he had that parachute. Come in, the missing link. How is it going in there? Oh, same as always. The brain guy has left the building. Well, in that case, you have to shut that robot down manually. Look around, see if you can find a switch. Hmm. Okay now, so what now? All shutdown in progress. Evacuate. Evacuate. The missing link, get out of there! Geronimo! Gotcha. All right, everyone. Plan F is a success. <laughs> now, the missing link. Meet us at the underground escape hatch. We're blowing this popsicle stand. Check. Right. Wow, an underground escape stand. <laughs> Finally. Hello, Pismo Beach. Uh-oh. So much for Pismo. Rio. Monster Beach. <sighs> Modesto. Sleep well, monsters. You're home to stay. Hoorah! Good morning, Modesto. Well, many residents woke up this morning to the sound of tanks and army trucks moving in. This has led some to ask the question, is there something going on, Veronica? That's right, Bob. Hundreds of residents were told to evacuate their homes. The military has cordoned off a 10-mile radius, and we've even heard reports that the president was flown in to make first contact with an alleged thing from another world. Wow! The president here! Hear that? Take that, San Francisco. Ha! For more on this, let's go live to the scene. Yes, Veronica and Bob, this is Enrico Puente, investigative reporter. As you can see, I am at the border of the incident, where the army has set up a roadblock around what I am told is a crater. 
a pit of some sort with something inside. It's deathly quiet. We're just waiting here as the moments tick by for something, anything to happen. Excellent work, Enrico. Can you tell us anything else? Yes, Veronica. We're doomed. Did you get that? Ah, that's great! <laughs> now that is good TV. Bob, the channel is on the blink. Just change it. Yeah, try something tropical and cool. You mean like Monster Beach? Ugh, not that again. I don't understand. Why can't we talk about Monster Beach? Because, my girl, that is simply pointless. Based on our current situation, it is clear to me that we are never leaving this facility. Any of us. For any reason. Ever. Monsters, guess what? You are leaving this facility. Hurrah. All right, monsters, listen up. Here's a sit rep. Because of the recent change in our alert status, the president has authorized me to offer you amnesty and a place of your own. In return for a small favor. <gasps> Monster Beach? How about the island of Nihau? In Hawaii. Wait a second. What's the catch, monger? No catch, fish stick. All you have to do is help us get rid of a hideous alien robot menace that's stomping its way through San Francisco. All right, General. We agree. But not the small island. We want Kauai. Monsters, you've got yourself a deal. So, here's what you're up against. Oh, crud. I knew you'd be pleased. Hey, drop! Take your sail! Hunt! Whoa! All right, you monsters, a deal's a deal. Now get out there and do what you do best. I want to see 100% USDA prime choice grade A monstering. Got me? You're up first, Ginormica. Hey, once and for all, the name is Susan. I am not a monster. And why me? Because between the egomaniacal fish ape, the bug-headed scientist, and the talking sneeze, I'd say the girl with the giant legs wins the Cupid doll. Understand? Now get going, pronto. Are you all right? Um, I don't think so. Hey! Let me go! Did you hear me? I said... guy for trying to lighten the mood.
Okay, the missing link. According to my scan, you're close to the entrance. You should see it by now. What is it? What do you see? What else? It's belly button. Uh, I'm sorry, the missing link. Did you just say you found the robot's belly button? Hand, hand, hand. You can do better, but you know. Belly button, huh? Good thing this crate doesn't have an armpit. Oh, the missing link. Don't be barbaric. Oh. You're in luck, the missing link. I think you're actually standing right in the middle of the alien robot. Really? I'm honored. That was a close one. Oh. I'm okay, pal. Thanks for the assist. Susan, Bob, you are a go for Operation Home Run. Right. Ready? Ready, Susanna Ginormica. Hey, cut it out. That tickles. Bingo, this one's going right over home plate. Whee! Ouch. Oops. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay! The missing link, you're in the control center. Give me a moment to scan the area. Bugaboo that you're all steamed up about? Crazy. Ah, oh, I can hear your voice, the missing link. The sorrow of having to destroy such advanced alien technology. But courage, man, courage. You do it for the greater good. Well, if I gotta, I gotta. Fine work, the missing link. It seems it's had one hockey too many. It's overloaded. It's gonna blow. Get out of there, the missing link. <laughs> Link, are you all right? Whew. Well, I've just been launched out of a giant robot at Mach 3 by the largest air burp in history, but other than that, I'm perfect. Wow, what a rush. 
Good! Get back here! You've weakened his defenses! Bob, it's up to you now! Ooh, that was a goodie! Ooh! A super fun happy slide! I love those! They're Bob Way! Psst! Doc! What is it, Bob? Being watched. And oh, don't be silly, Bob. You're just in the eye room. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Bob! A chain reaction! A map on an overload! Get out of there! Oh! Disgusting, but he was the best pile of goo a guy could know. I, I know I called him a brainless idiot all the time, but I didn't mean it. I, I'm sorry. To our fallen comrade, you will be missed. Bob. I'm gonna miss you guys, too! <laughs> and I want to thank you all again for your service to this country. The truck set course for Monster Beach. Hooray! But I don't want to go to Monster Beach. I keep telling you I'm not a monster. No offense. None taken. I just want to go home. Darn it, Detrop! You are interrupting a heartfelt moment with my monsters and one young lady. Wait, what? The robot sent a signal? It sent it where? Good evening, Modesto. Again, I'm Bob Brinkman. And I'm Veronica Shapley. Tonight, surprising news. For years, mankind has pondered the question, are we alone in the universe? Well, tonight, we have our answer. We do? I mean, we do, Veronica. Thank you, Bob. Ernie, can we roll that clip? Greetings, people of Earth. Behold, I am Galaxar, and I will soon be the ruler of the entire universe. I have come for my Quantonium. Give it to me at once! Wow! Will you look at that? He appeared in every major city in every corner of the globe, addressing them in their own language. Bonjour les gens de la terre. Salute la gente de terra earthy. I say hello you lot down there on terra firma. I want my Quantonium. Give it to me or I will annihilate your puny planet. Come on, mankind, I haven't got all day. Release the scorpion robot e thingy. <laughs> Find my Quantonium. Find this human female. She has my Quantonium.
For the record, I do not have his quantuminium. Uh, quantonium. Whatever. I wouldn't worry about that, Susan. That alien misfit has not only invaded the airspace of the good old U.S. of A, but I'm sure has also violated about 700 FCC regulations with that fancy sky projector of his. And one thing those Washington boys do not take kindly to is people who monkey around with their rules and regs. Wardrobe malfunctions included. Hoorah. What in the heck? The drop report. What was that? Whatever it was, General, it seems to have hit the ground. Very close by. All right, everyone, spread out. Time to get some recon. Okay, I see it. Oh boy, it's another robot. But, General, I'm looking at this thing, and I tell you, the only thing we need to get is gone. Call in the jets. The Marines, the Mounties, anyone. Let's be speed out of Aliensville. This one is too much. Hate to tell you this, son, but there is no one else. Zack Command says they moved against the alien ship. Couldn't even scratch its paint job. It really is just us now. Hmm, there must be a force field protecting the ship. But this robot doesn't appear to have one. Maybe it was damaged in the impact. Well, that's something, at least. Oh, no! Susan, it sees you! What? Insecto, buddy. This one is Major League Serious. Insectosaurus! No! Wait, Bob! Don't go out there! Bob! Bob! What are you doing? I'm calling this bad guy out. Relax. I've seen it a thousand times on TV. But this isn't TV, Bob. Bob! Okay, Varmint. It's just you and me now. You're me! Okay! How did you do that? Never mind. You appear to be in the central optical power complex. A veritable labyrinth of technological wonder. Uh, don't look now, but they've got one heck of a light show at the other end of that hallway. My advice? I keep out of its way. Wow, now I really do feel like a big rat. Squeak, squeak! Hi there, I'm a big rat! Where's the cheese, please? <laughs> Bob, stop it. You are not a rat. And don't let the room's complexity throw you. It's a simple maze for someone with your unique abilities. Just be careful. Right, Doc. I am not a rat. Got it. Uh, so where did you say the cheese was again? Oh, boy. Bob, be careful. Ooh, I bet there's definitely some cheese in here. Look, Bob, please, forget the cheese, forget mazes, forget rats, forget everything. Just think how you're going to get past the robot defenses to the generator, okay? Those grenade bots are trouble! Watch it! No cheese, but definitely fun. Weapon power is down significantly inside the Scorpion robot. That's a good start. Bob, get into your next position so we can finish it off. Okie dokie. The missing link, are you there? What have you got? Come on, Insectosaurus. We've been through too much together for you to go like this. Hang on, pal. We'll get you patched up. But first, I gotta take care of a pest. Uh, Bob, Veronica, you're not gonna believe this. Holy smoke! Take a fly! Take a fly! Hey, haven't you had enough? Hey! Watch it!
Look at that little guy. He's so cute. Oh, crud. Now hear this, the missing link. This is where it gets a little tricky. Tricky? And what do you call what I've been doing? I'd call that a good old-fashioned cakewalk, chump. Boy, you sure know how to motivate a fella, don't you? Monger here. We've got a situation. We've already taken a crack at that thing. Now we need to divert its attention away from the area and Insectosaurus. Why do I know what's coming? So we need to let it spot you and for you to lead it away on a kind of wild goose chase. With me as the goose. Yes, but remember, Susan, you're now a 50-foot tall, 16,000-pound goose with skates. I almost forgot about those. Oh, I do like a girl who knows how to surprise the enemy. Thank you. 
You here to stop Big Bad Me? Uh, Doc, remember that thing you were talking about that you couldn't quite place? Yeah. Well, I think I just found it. Oh, crud. Gotta do something. Yeah, I mean, where are we gonna find another person to play cards with? Especially someone who will let the missing link win. What? Hey, she did not let me win, okay? Guys. Guys! Insectosaurus got hurt trying to protect me. I don't want you to get hurt too. It'll be all right. Ever since I got hit by that meteor and grew like this, I've been wanting to go home. I thought home was Modesto. But now that the Earth is in danger, I realize that this whole planet is my home. And I won't let this happen. So if it will save the Earth for these aliens to get their precious Quandominium... Quandominium. Fine. Okay. Whatever. Then I am going to give it to them. But good. Ah! Susan! Susan! No! Where am I? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, and what am I wearing? <laughs> oh, your species thinks it's so smart, doesn't it? Well, I've got news for you. 
I. It's stupid. Do you hear? Stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. I, at last, have my quantonium. Now, my plan for galactic conquest can continue. Oh, no. There's hundreds of them. Hundreds? Ha! Try thousands. And with them, I will change the face of your world. Foolish female Earther, there is no escape. That force field can withstand the strength of ten strong men. Ha! First of all, you've clearly never heard of girl power. And second, you may not have noticed, but I'm a little taller than most. Some might even say ginormous. Just you wait. I am so going to annihilate you. <laughs> ah, welcome to my Quantonium Extraction Chamber, Earther. You should feel honored. No other species has ever seen it before. Yeah, I'm thrilled. I can't wait to blog all about it. You misunderstand. You're not going anywhere. I need the Quantonium to create my invasion force. Thousands of clones of myself to take over your world. You see, I really will change the face of your planet to mine. Ha! Then from there, I will take over the entire cosmos. Thousands of clones? Of you? Okay, now that's stupid. Yes, that's what I told him. Silence! I'll show you who's the more stupider. Er. Uh, but first, I will have my quantonium. My friends will come for me, and then you'll be sorry. Those fools? Ha! Huh, I don't think so. Now, start cloning and launch the ships. The invasion begins! Commencing cloning sequence. Modesto, Bob Brinkman here. And Veronica Shapley. Tonight's story... We're being invaded. Yes, it appears to be the end of the world as we know it. For more on this historic and world-changing event, we go live to Enrico Puente in the field. General Monger! General Monger, sir, a word! I understand, sir, that the President himself has issued a code brown alert in the face of this alien invasion. Care to comment? Well, there you have it, Veronica and Bob. As usual, the military has no comment. Sure was nice of General Monger to give us his plane. I don't think Nice had anything to do with it. He's right, Bob. We need to get on board the alien mothership, find Susan, and work out some way of stopping them. Only a small tactical team will do. Yeah, it's a next to impossible mission. Oh, I love that show. By the way, Doc, I didn't know you knew how to fly a plane. Well, you pick up these things when you're a scientist, you know. There it is! The landing bay. Hang on, both of you. This might just get a tad rough. Whoa! Ah! You're coming in too hot. I think you're too cold. I think I'm just right. Perfect three-point landing, if you ask me. Oh. 
No welcoming committee? Must all be at the party. All right, let's split up. Bob, see if you can locate Susan. She's somewhere in the ship. The missing link? Do whatever you can to disrupt the invasion. We need to buy the Earth some time. I'll coordinate the mission from the plane. We wouldn't want it walking off now, would we? This plane can walk? That's awesome! No wonder it's so secret! Is it a giant robot too? Out! What the? See, I told you the element of surprise wouldn't last long. Oh, oh great. It's a swell time to be right for a change. I don't know, Bob. He was right there one minute, and then... I don't know! But that doesn't change our mission, Bob. We've still got to find Susan and somehow stop the aliens. Do you understand? For Susan, for the missing link, for Monster Beach! Monster Beach? Bob? Bob? No! Monster Beach needs me! And nobody messes with Monster Beach on my watch! I'll do it! Wow! Mm. Yeah! Uh -oh. Whoa. All right, Bob. It's up to you now. You should see your position. Just follow the alien plasma turret. Yay! More alien plasma turtles! My legs! I can't feel my legs! Oh, yes, yeah, right. I don't have any legs. Silly me. Not fun. The missing link? Is that you? I'm reading you now. I must say I am positively thrilled to hear your voice. Well, I gotta say, Doc, you sound pretty good too. You know, in a guy kind of way. You'll have to find a way back inside the mothership, the missing link. There should be a cannon assembly just above you. That should do. Okay, you alien dude, get ready, because the missing link ain't missing. In fact, I'm in the house. Oh, whoo! Man, ha! Ah. You know, all this air isn't so great for the amphibian. Never mind all that, the missing link. You're now on the main power coupling for the ship. What can you see? What the? Uh-oh, I see her, Doc. 
I see Susan. Outstanding, the missing link. How does she look? Is she all right? She's positively glowing, and not in a good way. We gotta get her out of that alien aquarium. I concur, the missing link. I think if we can disconnect the Pontonium extraction device, we can rescue Susan, as well as stop any more clones from being made. Anything you say, Doc. Just please, let me take an elevator. Whew. Good work! Quickly, on to the next one! Yay! More marbles! Okay, Doc, I'll bite. Is this it? Yes! Very good, the missing link. Susan is very near you, in the core of the extraction chamber. We just need to find a way to get in and release her. Ugh. And people say I'm ugly. Silence, human. Sorry, pal. I'm not human. What? I am half ape, though, if that'll help you. Which is close to human. Well, better than human, actually. Oh, well, then. Know that when I capture you, you have whatever you are, I will annihilate you twice as much to make sure your near half-humanness is fully and completely annihilated. Come on, that doesn't even make any sense. Enough! I am Galaxar, soon to be ruler of the entire universe. Oh yeah? And I'm the missing link, soon to be doing a dance on your sorry calamari butt. The effects of the Quantonium Flux should die down in a moment. Human, I have you now. Wait, what are you supposed to be? I'm Bob, and Bob's me. Bob, B-O-B. -B. Here, I made up a little song to help me remember. Want to hear? Silence, uh, Bob. You are an intruder on my flagship. Rest assured, my clones are coming for you. And when they find you, I, Galaxar, will annihilate you personally. Bob, are you all right? Yeah, boy, these aliens are really crabby. And they're kind of squiddy, too.
Wow, that was great! have solved my unsolvable maze. Now I will just have to make another one. Ugh, they're not easy. So done with skating. Let's get out of here. Ah. Uh. 
of you monsters know where I can pick up a slightly used alien mothership? Insecto, you're okay. And look at you. You've got wings. Yep, he's got them. And I figured, what the heck? Time to put them to good use. Hoorah! Come on! This crate is coming down! We better get out of Dodge! Man, I've always wanted to say that. <laughs>